In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, double embossing technique where I've used two different embossing folders to create a design. So what you're going to need is a big shot and uh, we're going to use the multi-purpose platform with tab 2. You'll need only one cutting pad. the embossing folders that you're going to use. You need to create a shim um, and for this design you need a, a piece of cardboard that's uh, two inches by four inches and about one sixteenth of, of an inch thick. I cut two pieces from the back of a uh, writing tablet and just uh, stuck those together and that gave me the 1 16th of an inch. Now you might have to play with the thickness that works best for your Big Shot machine. You're also going to need some dotto and I like using a ruler to make sure I'm getting things uh, lined up straight. I'm going to start with a piece of 4 by 5 and a quarter cardstock and the first thing I'm going to do is position it in this finial press folder. With that in place I'm going to take my shim, my cardboard shim, put some dotto on it and position it on the outside of the embossing folder in the area I want my design to show up. And it's really important to get all the pieces straight because with this design, if it's off a little, it's really obvious. So um, that's why I'm using the dotto when I position things. And to be sure, I'm going to take and use my ruler to measure the edges and make sure that I've got them in their square. The next thing I'm going to do is take my multi-purpose platform and I'm going to put the embossing folder directly on the platform without a cutting pad underneath it. Then I take and put a cutting pad on top and I'll run this through the Big Shot. And you can see that what I get is the finial press design just in the area where the cardboard shim was. Next I take the Frame Tulips embossing folder and I'm going to position my cardstock so that the tulips will emboss in a line right at the margin of the finial press design. Well, first of all, I have to make sure that I'm getting the embossed side up, not the debossed side. And the way I do that, well there's a couple ways. One is if when you see the uh, Stampin' Up! and Sizzix symbols there, that will give you the embossed side. The other way is to just feel along the embossing folder and if it's smooth you know you've got the embossed side and if, it, and if you can feel the pattern that's the debossed side. So in order to make this work well I'm also going to add some dotto to the back of my cardstock on the end that I'm going to emboss next. And I'm going to line the edge up right where the finial press um, ends. And then I'm going to secure the cardstock with dotto to the bottom of the folder. And once again, I'm going to take my ruler and measure one end and the other. 
and make sure I've got them lined up straight. And I'm just going to adjust as needed. Now that I've got that lined up correctly, I'm going to take my shim and place it over the tulips right where I'm going to want the embossing to come through. And then I'm going to need to put this through the Big Shot sideways with the folder sideways, otherwise it won't go through with this cardstock hanging out. So I'm going to position it on tab 2 in this manner and cover with the cutting pad. Then I'll run that through the Big Shot. And now you can see I've got this lovely tulip pattern on the margin of the finial press. Next I'm going to put Dotto on the other end of the cardstock. And I put my dotto on the back of the cardstock just so that the front of my work stays clean. Then I'm going to take and position the other end in the embossing folder so that the line of tulips lines up with the edge of the finial press embossing. And press the folder pieces together so that the dotto will hold the cardstock. And once again I'm going to measure and make sure that uh, things are in there evenly. And I can see already I'm going to need to make an adjustment. When I'm sure it's on there straight I'll put the cardboard shim back in place. Just covering the edge of the embossing folder, like so. And I'm going to run that through the Big Shot. So now I can take this apart and you see I've got this lovely design with a strip of finial press embossing in the center and then the frame tulips on either side. Here's the card I made with this technique and you can see the detail of the embossing here. Now it's your turn to try the double embossing technique in your studio. For more card making and paper crafting inspiration and instructions be sure to visit me at www.stampingmadly.com. Happy stamping!